Billions of dollars worth of M&A transactions have been struck since the UK's Brexit referendum on June 23rd, dominated by the $32 billion takeover by Japan's SoftBank of chip designer Arm Holdings. The 10 to 15 percent devaluation of the pound has left some companies ripe for takeover. It's effectively a buying opportunity for people with strong currencies compared to the UK pound. Ben Ward says he's seen an increasing number of clients, particularly from China, taking a closer look at opportunities in the UK, especially those with an international focus. There are a number of uh, Chinese investors who are actively looking at making investments in uh, UK or sterling-based assets. And I see this because quite often when a company wants to sell an asset or a subsidiary, they will do an auction process. Uh, and we're seeing Chinese investors are participating in those auction processes. They're showing interests in buying assets in, in the UK. Deals completed since the referendum include the $800 million takeover of discount chain Poundland by South Africa's Steinhoff Group. Odeon and UCI Cinemas are set to be acquired by America's AMC Cinema chain, which is owned by China's Dalian Wanda Entertainment Conglomerate. And Wolverhampton Wanderers of England's Championship League have been bought by China's Fosun Group in a $60 million deal. Poundland being acquired or uh, the Odeon Cinemas uh, being acquired, I think that these are still the mid-cap, uh, you know, bargain hunting, uh, very much of a transitionary acquisitions. But analysts warn Prime Minister Theresa May's new government will have to think carefully as it maps out new post-Brexit trade and competition policies to attract essential investment. We cannot expect large-scale mergers to happen and remain in the e UK um, without making the right sequence of decisions. So only on the basis of falling share prices only on the basis of low interest rates, only on the basis of low exchange rate, we cannot expect large-scale mergers to happen. Much of the longer-term large-cap M&A activity will depend on the future relationships the UK carves out with major trade partners, like its European neighbours, as well as China and the US. The shape of Britain's future trade relations with the rest of the world will take a year or two to emerge. Some businesses have already calculated that this is time they cannot afford to stand still and that business opportunities on offer today are worth the uncertainties ahead. Catherine Drew, CCTV, London.